Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Ramchise, baby. Rams franchise. We are not doing as well as we had wanted in year two. And I told you, this is going to be different. We're going to have ups. We're going to have downs. First year, we ended up making the playoffs, which nobody thought we would. And now we're two and five. We're struggle busting here. And while technically our season is definitely not over by any means, it's looking like we're headed that way. But honestly, I think that's okay. If you've been paying attention, you know that we have a quite young offensive line that is developing, growing, and believing. Besides Mr. Beecham Jr. over there, older than motherfucking shit. But we do have a young quarterback who is going to have his ups and downs. Some of you guys told me you think this guy might be superstar because something to do with his player tag. Uh, he has the franchise QB tag, and somebody said that means a superstar, so maybe he should be pretty good. We still have to get about 400 downs with him to figure out what he is, but uh, overall, like I said, the arm strength is there. Just got to work on the accuracies. We're going to have uh, growing pains, and also some of you guys were complaining that he's, you know, I got rid of Stafford because I didn't want to necessarily because uh, I want to be able to roll out of the pocket. Then with Huntley, I kind of stopped, and I ended up going back to a slower quarterback. This guy's still faster than Stafford. I'll take this guy over Stafford any day. This is our guy for the future, we believe. We're still working on developing Puka Nakua, but honestly, like I feel like we're a wide receiver away, and maybe, maybe we're getting a safety here. Like I feel like the team, overall, the core's there. You got two middle linebackers that are young. They're rookies. They've been playing great. Some of you guys have also pointed out that they, theoretically, one of them could end up being defensive uh, rookie of the year because they've been playing so well. We've been using them a lot. They've been involved in action, stuff like that. Like I feel like we have a lot to work with on this team, and it's definitely not that bad. We also have a young defensive tackle here who could be something. Um, I, there's a lot to like on this team. And I think that even if this season ends up not being the greatest, if we can just try to get as much experience, try to develop these guys, I think next year, especially with the insane amount of cap room we have, I think, honestly, we're looking to cook really well and do some really cool things. We currently have $160 million in cap room. Now, we do have to sign some players back uh, for sure, but that's a lot of money to play with to where we already have kind of a good core. We just got to supplement it. So through free agency, all that good stuff. We haven't entirely loved this draft. We can always trade down. A lot of stuff that I think we can really make a splash with. Now, we do have to set our national focus here for scouting. Again, this draft class has not been exciting. It, I mean, it hadn't screamed, oh my gosh, you need to have a high first round pick for this. I will say at running back, I really like Jalen Morgan. I won't lie with... Uh, Kyron Williams has been fun. He had a phenomenal game last week, right? But I feel like we are kind of lacking running back wise. But honestly, this kid right here, Jalen Morgan, the five foot nine, 21 year old out of Notre Dame, looks kind of good. Now, we still got to learn some stuff here, but athletically, potentially elite speed, potentially elite jumping, potentially elite di change of direction, potentially elite acceleration, agility, eh, pretty weak, but at least he's very interesting. Could be a piece to look at for sure. But also, he's around one to two talent. So running back, we haven't seen anything insane. We talked about wide receiver. None of these wide receivers have necessarily jumped off the page as, oh my gosh, you got to have him. Uh, you know, Nathan Mitchell could have potentially great speed, good jump, great or elite jumping, you know, some solid athletics, but just nothing is jumping off going, holy shit, this is the guy. They're insane. You know, like if they look halfway decent athletically, they usually don't run routes very well. If they run routes, they're slower than shit. There's just no, been nobody that really jumps out as going, oh man, they're going to be good. Let's develop this guy. At least in my opinion, maybe I'm tripping. I probably am. Great speed here. This guy could be nasty. Elite potential acceleration, great agility, change direction elite, great speed, good jumping. I, this guy could be nasty. Um, short route meeting. He runs good routes and has a catching. Larry Lowry is somebody I'm interested in. I'm all the way in on him from Auburn. He's also projected to be around one and two talent. So if we continue to suck this season, you might see us trade down our first round pick. Some of you guys have been like, please, dear God, do not go get another offensive lineman in the first round. You, you can find great stuff later. That's true. But like, if I find the guy I want that I think could be insane, there's always that option to go for him. Uh, this guy could be a very nice athlete right here. Great speed, potentially great jumping, great change direction, elite agility, elite acceleration. Uh, Sammy Todd, 23 though. That sounds kind of bad, right? Like he's an elder. Like he's he's already an old man, says the 32-year-old content creator. 
And don't get me wrong, I know I've already shown you these offensive tackles that they look disgusting. There's quite a bit. This is one of the things the, uh, the draft class is not bad in. There are a lot of offensive linemen. Now, that also means there's a lot of things to choose from to where if we don't want to draft that high and take Lloyd McClain, who's supposed to be a top five talent, who honestly looks kind of grody, I mean, that's a lot of elite. Do you see that over there? That's so much damn elite. That's elite every single thing. Now, of course, strength, solid, good kind of makes me a little worried. So does his pass block power, but athletically he looks disgusting. So I could pick somebody lower and just leave some of this top talent like Russ Martin, leave them alone. Elite strength potentially on him, change direction, agility, whatever the fuck that does. Uh, he could be gross. He looks nasty. A lead block, B pass block finesse, C pass block, A run block finesse, B run block. Like, I feel like this guy's solid enough. The question is, do we take them in the first, say, I don't know, 15 picks? We could also use some help at defensive end. Eric Clifford is very interesting. His elite strength is very exciting, potentially. Uh, change direction's good. Acceleration's good. Jumping, I don't give a shit about. I don't know if I'm ever going to need that. But could be an interesting piece there. A tackle, doesn't get injured. Smile, A block shed. Could be somebody fun to throw on the other side of Aaron Donald. All that good stuff. Definitely somebody to look at. Jamie Graham is also interesting. Looks like a very nice athlete. Now, I will say, looking at this, his power moves being a B, block shed being a C, make me think the other guy's better. F finesse move. I feel like the other, I feel like the other defensive end we were looking at, maybe Jamie Graham is a backup in case, you know, we missed out on the other guy. But so far, I'm not seeing somebody to jump at, you know, super duper early. Now, I know I didn't say that cornerback was something that I desperately need, but I need you to walk with me and talk with me for a moment on this dude, Kyle Ford, the 21 year old six foot four corner out of North Carolina State. A man coverage, which is good. He's an archetype man to man. You expect him to be good at that. B zone coverage, C press, C catching. Look at the athletics here. Potentially elite strength, speed, jumping, change of direction, acceleration. This is an athlete. This might be the guy that makes me not want to trade down. Kyle Ford looks like Hemothy. Where is he going is a question I need to know. He looks disgusting. Braxton Hall looks like a nasty athlete as well. Not as not as insane as the other dude, but we might be looking at a generational, I don't want to say generational, but at the same time, generational corner and Kyle Ford. He just looks athletically disgusting. I do think we also need to think about safety. We could always also sign one through free agency see who's available there but definitely could use some help as safety but so far it feels like defensive end wide receiver running back and corner might be the, the the moves for us to make a play and of course find some value at offensive line now we're going to set our focus here nationally they like cornerbacks and tackles i think i know which cornerbacks i want the thing we're talking about though is not taking an offensive lineman super duper early right you guys said don't don't take an offensive lineman in the top five top eight whatever so then I think what we need to do is scout offensive linemen and make sure that we know as much as we can about the entire stat class to find the guy we think is insane and maybe a gym in like the second, third round. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to set it the tackle because I want that. I already know about some of the other guys. And at least I want to I want to keep the boost for being like, what's the strength in the class? What's the strength of my scout? So we're going to we're going to stay looking offensive tackles here. Uh, in in the national region, I think that's I think this is the move. I think this is the move. If I can get me a good offensive lineman to fill in at left tackle, if I can get me a running back, or we figure out how to develop the running backs we have, maybe a wide receiver, maybe a defensive end, maybe a corner. I think we're walking out of here looking like perhaps a disgusting team moving forward. And I out there, I'll say it. We look like we might be making a dynasty, baby. Now, there is a mock draft, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to get Kyle Ford. Kyle Ford is projected to go third overall to the Cardinals. I'm just saying, if the Cardinals beat me right now, though, because we play the Cardinals this week, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, if they beat me, then Kyle Ford might be coming here. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. A lot of offensive linemen here. Nathan Redmond, the quarterback, the only quarterback in the class, is projected to go to the Giants a, a four overall. Um... A lot of offensive linemen. There's some safety stuff we were looking at. Wide receivers we were looking at. So it's going to be interesting to see where we fall. Currently, we're at ninth. And they think we're going to take a, a, a safety ninth. I don't think that's... I don't think I'd be taking a safety that high. But again, these mock drafts, we'll learn more as we keep getting closer to the end. It's just always kind of fun to take a glance and see what's up and what's happening around the league. Um, Chris Jones, smile. This time, he's not a defensive tackle. He's an offensive tackle. There you go. But... We're trying to write our, our season back. If we could try to sneak in and be well, that good, that'd be awesome. 
Uh, we're go we got a chance to potentially get our season back on track, beating the Cardinals. Can we do it? God, I hope so. The Cardinals look to be a bad team. They're lower rated on everything, you know, compared to us. They're one in five. We got to beat them. We got to show up and play smart football. We also have the opportunity for a breakout running back. Can we upgrade the dev trait of Kyron Williams, baby? Can he become a star, which would be huge? Because honestly, if he becomes star dev, starts getting a little more XP, we might just say, screw it. Let's play with Kyron Williams until we find somebody we really like or find a running back that falls to us. Or maybe, you know, until Ladarius Woody does something. I don't know. It's not necessarily, we're not like, oh my gosh, we have to do something right this second. So if we develop Kyron, I'd be down. He's got to run for 100 yards or, oh, he needs, I'm sorry. He needs 100 yards total. He had 200 last game and he needs two touchdowns. Run the damn football seems like the 110% move here. That's what we're going to do this football game. We're going to run the damn ball. I'm taking a page out of Gene Dangus's Bangle, uh, Bangles franchise. We're doing it out of his Falcon stuff. He runs the damn football. We're running the damn football. So our weekly strategy then, we're going to lock it in, dude. I'm going to, oh my God, who the fuck is Alex Vaughn? Alex Vaughn is a 65 overall. What happened to Kyler? Nobody's hurt for the Cardinals. Kyler Murray is still there. But everything show me that Alex Vaughn will be starting. Has he been playing? He is not. Would this be his first game? Did they bench Kyler Murray? Kyler Murray this season has four touchdowns to six interceptions. Jesus Christ. It looks like I'm controlling him. Oh my God. That's crazy. A 76.1 passer rating. Wow. All right. So Kyler Murray's been playing a lot of Call of Duty. And I don't blame him. All right. The new COD looks sick. They have Ezekiel Elliott and Antonio Gibson is no longer a Washington commander. He's a uh, Cardinal. Okay. I guess James Conner's gone forever. Wide receivers, you still got Marquise Brown. You got R Rondale Moore. You got DJ Shark Jr. And Derek Phillips, the rookie out of Florida. Five foot eight. He's a 76 overall hidden dev. Wow, they found a receiver here. That's super interesting. He has not played at all this season, though. What are we doing? He's not made a reception. Did I fuck up and click the wrong thing here? Brother, I don't give a shit about DJ Shark Jr. This dude would be above and he'd be catching some fucking footballs for me. Holy shit. Zach Ertz and uh, Trey McBride will be your tight ends. Offensive line, 77, 74, 73. It looks pretty weak. 76, 79. So it's not anything to write, not anything to write home about. Defensive ends, 31-year-old Leonard Floyd is on your left end and then right end is 69 overall. Uh, to Karis to McKinley. Did I say that right? I have no idea. Let me know in the comments. You guys know I'm a filthy casual. Oh, and some of you have been like, hey, Demu, I've been watching this series and I love it. You mentioned you're a filthy casual once. Or yeah, sometimes I find you new people, okay? I'm a casual. All right, here we go. Man, their defensive line looks like shit. We might be running all up in that ass. BJ Ojolari is a 75 overall. Uh, Zaven Collins is a 79. And Victor Vincent is i feel like victor vincent that's too close on the names i don't know is am i tripping am i weird am i stupid here he is the day one starter thing too but he's normal dev okay so you guys lied to me day one starter or whatever does not mean oh maybe it was because it's franchise i don't know whatever outside linebacker they got mark mcqueen a lot of rookies on this cardinals team marcus peters is their best cornerback with marco wilson right behind him and their safeties jalen thompson and buddha baker buddha baker obviously the big holy shit you gotta pay attention to this guy what is his contract i want buddha baker that's never gonna happen but i want him five years 54 mil okay so he's he's gonna be a cardinal forever super interesting though they're saying that kyler murray's not gonna play we're gonna see if that's true though madden sometimes is mad stupid with the way they do these like warm-up things they're like hey man this is who you're going up against like last week it said i was gonna go up against jared goff who tore his rotator cuff Guess what? There was no Jared Goff. It was Marcus Mariota fucking me in the skull. Is that an odd thing to say? Maybe, but it felt odd when I watched him beat me. I'm gonna vomit. All right, apparently the QB scramble's important for this fella, uh, but it's crazy though. QB scramble, they're like, hey man, look out for Alex Vaughn. And then for passing, they're like, oh, by the way, uh, Kyler Murray's out there. I'm gonna defend the short pass. It seems like it's the only thing he's been having success with. That feels like that's a norm. I feel like with Madden, I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Feels like that's the norm. We're gonna do it. And for us, I'm not going to do short pass. I would like to run the damn football. I care more about getting the goal of Kyron Williams becoming a star 
and getting better XP results than winning this football game. I want to run that damn football. And honestly, who knows? This might actually work. We might do okay. So we're going to run the damn football. All right, we have our focus players. We're going to do Puka Nakua. We're going to do wide receiver battle again. Why do I always leave these in the video? I don't really know, okay? Because you've seen me do it fucking a million times. You're like, oh, there's Puka Nakua, and up, he's going for the 400. I like that these are in the game, but I feel like, holy shit, these got to be kind of boring as shit to watch. Did I get this gold? Holy shit, I'm a piece of shit. Okay, well, uh, I'll see you when I get gold. Going deep. I already got the gold. 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 Fuck it, we ride. I didn't really get the 500 boosty there, but whatever. Gold for Puka Nakua. I will tell you, I will literally jism if I could get me a delicious dev trait. Of course not, I'll go fuck myself, that's fine. This should be gold for Mr. Ramon Pope. It should be, and it is. Let's go, baby. I have two more reps. I wonder if I just get more points. I, I don't actually really know, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I don't ever really know if getting more points in the drill is gonna make me get, like, more shit. Like, I don't know. Like, do I have a chance at me getting a dev trade if I do 5,000 over the minimum? I don't know. I have no idea. We didn't get a dev trade for Pope, which makes me disgustingly sad, but here we are. Jermaine Hatcher, trench battle. The other question, you know, we're talking, I'm complaining about these mini games here. Why do they have mini, why are they like, hey, you can do the long one or the short one? What if I don't want to do either of them at this point? You know what I mean? Like, of course I'm always gonna take the shorter one. I don't know. I have no idea. We also got to figure out though, what the fuck this dude's dev trade is. Throw him aside, thank you. Oh God, I'm gonna die. He's stuck. Oh, uh, that's cool. All right. <laughs> And I'm, I'm gonna get me some of that pussy. Let's do this. Come on, baby. Just get in there. Ripping and tearing, baby. Ripping and tearing. Let's go. Gold. Jermaine Hatcher. I love you. It just took me mashing my stick numerous times. Cause like if I hit it up once, I feel like I wasn't doing anything. But if I just keep slamming it up, 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 then we're good. We're, we ride. And then Mr. Zimmerman here is gonna be super easy cause he could just throw him aside. Well, I say that and now I'm having a hard time. Spin move. Yep. Get out of my face, you stupid bitch. And then we're going to go murder our new quarterback. Is that gold? It's gold. Woo! Let's go, baby. First try. First try every time. Smile. No dev trade upgrade. I'm so sad. All right. Let's use our quarterback here. We're going to stay with target practicing. I need to at least just keep getting in this focus XP. That's going to be huge for whatever he is. Whatever. Even if he ends up just being star, I'm, I'm fucking down. And I don't know, you guys told me the day one starter or whatever fantasy or franchise quarterback tag means he's going to have at least superstar. That would just be the cat's pajamas if I'm gonna be honest with you. Did I break two of them? Nope, sure didn't. I'm just a big old shitter. All right, we're shucking it to B. I don't even remember who the fuck B is, but there you go, buddy. Have a football. There you go, champ. I'm breaking two targets. One, two, bam. One, two, he didn't catch it. What is happening? Come on, come on. Go. All right, we're going to hit Puka Nakua here. It's going to work. It's going to be great. I love it. One, I missed, but he caught it. Smile. Am I at silver yet? I'm not. Holy shit, I might be throwing. I might legitimately be throwing, and I ain't talking about the football this time. One, two, caught it. Big boosty. Oh, shit, yeah, bitch. And then we're going to highball this to B. And it's going to be a beautiful broken target. One, two. We didn't catch it, but I still came. All right, baby. Gold right here. Fuck it. Chuck it right there. I don't give a shit. Thank you. Gold, baby. Show me a dev trade upgrade. I don't care if it spoils it for me at this point. Like if it upgraded me, son of a bitch. If it was like, hey, you're at Superstar. I'd be like, okay, and star, I don't care. I just want to know. And I'm tired of not knowing. Sam Calloway, you're just going to get focus XP because I mean, fuck it. You like, that's, what do you want me to do? You know what I mean? It's going to, we're leaving him there. Oh, there's a game you didn't do. Shut up, EA. You didn't fucking make any, lazy. All right, here we go. No injuries. Would that not be brutal if Kyron Williams got hurt in practice? Well, we have the chance to make him a star. Why did I say that out loud? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I just put it into the atmosphere. Nobody hurt on defense. That's good. Anybody hurt on the offense? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have no, we have no Pope. He's got turf toe. Oh, my God. We're so fucked. Thank God we're running the football because... Oh, my God. Does that mean I have to... Holy shit. Does that mean I have to throw... 
to Hunter Long. I mean, I know Kylan Granson's gonna get something, but like, all right, that sucks. We do have upgrades for both. Uh, speaking of Kylan Granson, there you go. We also have Devante Zimmerman and we're gonna boosty boost his, I'm gonna do field general this time, but then I'm gonna go hard into pass coverage, I think. I think that's the move with him. Plus one tackle, plus two play wreck and block shed and then plus one awareness. That rides, we, we're good. Kylan Granson, buddy, you need to you need to be super possessive. All right, I need you to, if I throw the football and you drop it, I will defecate in your grandmother's mouth. Very normal coaching. Also, some of you guys asked me to change up the way our new quarterback looks. He spent his first paycheck. He likes to have a sleeve on his right arm. He's got a visor. It's Oakley because he's that, that's the kind of dude he is. He likes Oakley. Don't hate him. He's got a, well, he had a towel. I don't know where the fuck it went, but he had one. He's got a towel. I don't know, brother. He looks mad cute. He's ready to fuck is what he's ready to do. Oh, we gave him new shoes too. They're Adidas. I don't know. He wanted to be like your grandpa and wear Adidas. But it is time. It's Cardinals Rams. We're at home. Please, dear Lord, don't let me lose the damn the Cardinals. Please. Please don't do it to me, please. Let's get into it. All right, we're gonna be wearing the actual like alternate unis. I don't think I've worn these one time. I have, I've, I don't think I've, wa I've worn them once now that I think about it. And so we're going to this time. Player spotlight, bam, there's our boy Kyron Williams. Had a phenomenal game. This doesn't even show the fact that he had, I wanna say 81 yards uh, receiving, had a 200 yard uh, 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 total yards game. So pretty big. We need Kyron Williams to step up big again right here. Maybe we can. Buda Baker's going to try to stop us. And whoever the hell else was on this Cardinals team, I already forgot all these dudes' names. Let's get into it, baby. Our young quarterback, Wiggins. He's leading the team out there. And he's going, Rams, look at all my new swag. I got all this new equipment. Love me. I'm not going to throw any picks. All right, Evan McClain is out there. We're going to be kicking this football off first. Try to play some defense, and we're gonna find out which quarterback we're going up against because I don't think I saw one in the promo stuff. I don't think I did. Cardinals are gonna take a knee and they will start their drive to the 25. Here comes Kyler, it is Kyler. He's got his towel hanging right in front of his dick. I thought about doing that. I put it on the side. I don't know, I don't like it hanging just right over the old cock. Anyway, Kyler not having that great of a year. Four passing touchdowns, six interceptions. I'm sure he has been a scrambly scrambler though. So we're gonna need to make sure that we try to contain these alternate jerseys. I don't think they look bad. I just don't know how many teams you can wear these. Cause I feel like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'd wear these that often. Barry, there we go. Big tackle on Ezekiel Elliott. He only gains a yard on the first play of the game. Kyler Murray putting a man in motion. It's gonna be a little handoff. Oh my God. It totally bit the shit. I, I bit so hard on like a, like a, like a jet sweep kind of deal. It was not Aaron Donald though. He has more uh, experience than I do. He's better than me. Smile is ready, and he makes the tackle. Third and nine for these Cardinals. Kyler Murray, he finds his man so open. And honestly, that's just a finding a hole through the through the through the zone coverage there. Because theoretically, I was covering where I was supposed to be. I know I know a lot of you think I just always pull a dude out of coverage. That's not always the case. Sometimes we just fucking suck, and they find a way to go through. And it makes me sad and I cry, but whatever. Looking to throw on first down and he will. It's gonna be a beautiful throw and we gotta to touch that man, holy shit. Kyler Murray, two for two. That one this time to who the hell was number two? I don't even remember. That was Brown that made that catch there. That's who that was. All right, let's do this first and 10. We're gonna stop them. They're gonna run the ball and we do not set the edge. Everybody's picked up on a block, looking absolutely ugly. Ezekiel Elliott with a huge gain. I think he'd only gotten one yard at that point. That might've been an 18 yard run. We're letting them cut through us way too much. Empty backfield, we know they're passing. 100%, everybody knows it, I know it, you know it, and they're gonna chuck it right into my direction. And I'll be honest with you, if he was gonna hit the receiver there and he didn't overthrow DJ Shark Jr., I think I was picking that. I was all up in that ass and I was ready to take a good old lick. Second and 10. We need to do something magical here. Big stop, big stop. I'm, I, no. We're gonna get a tackle there. Ezekiel Elliott has now got a boo-boo grabbing his ankle and is not moving. He is upset, he's spaghetti, and then he's gonna hobble off the field. So this is another running back we've hurt. We hurt Jameer Gibbs last week. NFL's about to fucking investigate me, I think. Empty backfield here, third and three. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh my gosh, don't let him have the first down. Fourth and inches. Do you go for it? You do. You go for it every day, right? Am I a bad coach? Because I would have been going for it. 100%. This has to be a fake, right? Fourth and inches? No. Why would you fake? Why wouldn't you just... 
Why wouldn't you just run the football? Especially as you've been cutting through me. Whatever. Regardless, the Cardinals showing why they're one and five. They're going to kick a field goal here. Fourth in inches. We were on like, what, the eight, the nine, the 10? Worst case scenario, you fail and I'm pinned that deep. I don't know about that. Maybe I'm just a little aggressive. Maybe I'm just, you know, stupid. I don't know. We're not going to run this back. We're going to take a knee. Boop, right there. And it's Rams football on the 25. Derek Wiggins, 552 yards on the season, eight interceptions, two touchdowns. Listen, I know, I, I know, he's young. Shut up. First and 10, and we're going to implement plan, run the goddamn football. And let's see if we can't do it. We pick up blocks. This looks pretty good. Pop back inside. Kyron Williams is going to gain about four on the opening carry. Worked out pretty good. We'll take that. Four yards every time is okay with my book. Second and six. Here's another run for Kyron. He's got room, baby. That's going to be a beautiful gain. 14 yards under Kyron Williams' belt already as we get the first down. I think it's going to be relatively simple. I'm going to say simple. I'm going to be bold and say that. That I think we can get Kyron Williams' yards today. Needs 100 all-purpose yards. Here we go. First down. We're going to run the football again. He's got his speed. He gets outside. He gets outside. Misses a man. Stiff arms another. And he's got us to the 44. Another first down for Kyron Williams. First and 10. We've only run the ball so far. And this feels like the perfect time for play action. I don't actually like what I see. I know I had... I might have had Cooper Cup real deep. I panicked, though, and didn't want to fuck up the drive. I throw it away. That's fine. My favorite thing about making franchise videos is people be like, B was open. Like, I think you guys think that I just look at B and I go, yeah, fuck that guy. I don't want to throw to him. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like sometimes you guys think I see the open thing as Kyron Williams is the first down. I see the open thing and I go, I don't want that. And it's not that I just am fucking bad and I missed it and I'm scared. It's not that. It could never be that. It's just I look at it. And you're like, oh, I can't believe he didn't throw to B. I didn't fucking see it. You know what I mean? Anyway, another run. Kyron. Oh, that was not Kyron. That was Ladarius Woody on his first carry. Only gets two yards. Not as impressive. Okay. Empty backfield. Any empty backfield. I'm having a fucking stroke. And that ball's targeted for Ky Kylan Granson. And I, uh, I fucking overthrow it. So smile. Third and eight. Got to make a play here. Got to make a play here. It's going to be the running back. Kyron. Williams actually I'm gonna be honest I was looking Cooper Cup it looked like it's about to be bagged and Kyron Williams just finds his way through two zones open for the first down that's gonna help the all-purpose yards there first and ten I'm rolling out I'm rolling out and honestly we're gonna throw on the run right there oh my god if I ever have to look at Hunter Long again I hope he's fucking drowning I mean it, honestly yeah it was a throw on the run for sure but Wiggins made a beautifully placed ball Hunter Long just fucking sucks Here's a run. There we go. Pick up some blocks. Oh, I could have popped back inside. Big gain right there. 49 yards on five carries for Kylan. Kyron. I'm getting Kyron and Kylan all fucking topsy-turvied. I'm so fucked. I'm never going to get this right now. Third and three. Uh, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Shit. I'm one for five in the air. I think I'm panicking. I'm making myself sweat a little bit. By the way, Marcus Mariota just had a 20 for 40 day, 300 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. What the shit? So now we're going to kick it. Fourth and three, though, I think is different than fourth and inches. Maybe you're going to disagree with me here, but I feel like you can't disagree with me. We're going to tie the football game, unfortunately. Not our best look. Again, we're still trying to get the feel for Derek Wiggins. We're trying to get that vibe. Don't yell at me. Thank you. All right. The kick is off. We got to play some defense. Will the Cardinals like to run this one back? They will not. The Cardinals start to drive the 25. Ooh, they're going to come out on an empty backfield right away. First and 10. Oh, my gosh. And he's perfectly opened. And then we miss a tackle. Unfortunate there. That's going to be Kyler Mur Murray throwing that ball to who was that? I have no idea. Turn around. Let me see your jersey. I'm not familiar with your team. It was Antonio Gibson, 19 yards. He started rolling right, and I pulled myself out of coverage because I'm a dumb bitch. First and 10. Here we go. How do we stop him? Oh, my God. You got to tackle that. You got you to gotta knock it loose. Uchenna Nwusu, who just came back last week from injury, is now hurt, and he's signaling for help. This is not good. Holding his wrist. I can't remember exactly what he hurt last time, but he's already missed time. And I'm not a fan. Little run here. It looks like it. Can we get out there? Big chop block. Bam. We got it. Antonio Gibson gets eight yards on his first carry. Uchida Nwusu. Bruce Sternum, even though he's holding his wrist. Bruce Sternum means, what is that, internet? It means he has a concussion. He is now dead. 
Okay, here we go. Into the first quarter there. Three to three, a fucking absolutely insanely entertaining game smile. 51 rushing yards, 15 passing yards. I mean, shit, that might all be Ky uh, Kyron. Might be. I don't, I, I think it is. Second and two. It's gonna be a run and we wrap it up quite quickly. Antonio Gibson tackled at the line of scrimmage. It's gonna be third and two. Another shot for us to really do something here. We're gonna come out in man coverage. I wanna press the shit out of everybody's anus. Third and two. Where are they going? A quick pass, he drops it. Thank God, because I'm gonna be honest with you, I clicked on the wrong fella. St. Juice acting like he did something. I definitely made him run away. Fourth and two, thank, oh, now they're going for it. This is so fucking dumb, right? This is weird, right? Am I tripping? This is so stupidly odd. It's a run and we're gonna wrap it up. It's a turnover. Absolutely snuffed. That's another tackle for loss. Ben Orchard on that one. Coming in there looking big. Tackling. I think that was Ezekiel Elliott. Love to see. Actually, that was Gibson. Is who that was. That was Gibson with the carry. Got nothing. That's right. I forgot Ezekiel Elliott's got boo-boos. First and 10. Rams football. So we had a beautiful stop there. Oh, gosh. And we just can't find a way. I waited for that block to get outside on the left side. Didn't happen. We get tackled line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Here's Wiggins. And he's going to get cremated. Holy shit. Third and 19. That's why they went for it. They were not worried about us at all. God, I mean, he was in my face so quick. So absolutely quick. I'm almost wondering if they're going to send some heat here and I can get this ball out quick. Maybe, maybe. That's the goal. That's the goal. Oh my God. He's so open. He's so open. Let's go, baby. Big catch. Holy shit. Nobody was on the left, left side of the field. I noticed it after the snap. And that's going to be Williams so naked i gotta show you this i recognize this so late i was looking at the right side of the field you guys yell at me all the time about that i know i know i'm a bitch look over here there's not a fucking man on kyron williams there's no one ball snapped everything's bagged you know who's not bagged williams we're throwing that out of a tackle and luckily we're able to come back and get that god if i realized that a little sooner i mean that's that's a house shot right there that needs i need to realize that quicker first and 10 on the 42 wiggins Play action. We cannot hit the tight end to save our ass, man. We just can't get these throws to be on the mark. Now, we knew that Derek Wiggins' accuracy is going to be a bit of a, of a struggle for us, but shit, he's, what, two for six now? That's crazy. Second and ten. Wiggins going to hand it off to the running back. We're going to go up and get a block. That's crazy. I thought we weren't for a minute, and that'll be a nice little game. Third and five. Third and five. Wiggins. I mean, I just can't get rid of the damn football quick enough. Matthew Ionitis, I don't know if I said that right, has now got a boo-boo, fourth and 17, gonna have to punt the football. I'm just not able to get the pass game going for sure, and the run game, I feel like we're just gonna murder Kyron, or Kylan. I'm fucking everything up. Kyron Williams, Jesus Christ, I'm having a stroke, internet. That ball is going to not bounce the way I want it to. They're gonna start their drive on the 20. First and 10, Kyler. Gonna hand this off, it looks like, and it's gonna be a beautiful run. Holy shit. Oh my God, we, Jesus Christ. Every time I come out with four down linemen and there's that space in the middle, I, I can never plug it quick enough with the running back or with the middle linebacker. That's just a horrible play. I don't play it correctly. I'm sure it's 100% great. Some of you guys are like, that's my favorite play. 100%, I don't play it right. Son of a bitch. Huge run, one play on the drive. And now the Cardinals have a 10 to three lead. All right, we need to make a statement drive here. There's no fucking chance that we should be playing this poorly against the Cardinals of all teams. Gonna try to run it back. We can't get it to the 18 and it's now time for Kyron Williams and, and Derek Wiggins to show the fuck up. Here we go, here we go. Quick little pass on the zone. It's gonna go to Cooper Cup, first down. A good way to get my running back more yards. What about a screen? First and 10, let's try it. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a whirl. And uh, Kyron Williams, most useless piece of shit on that play I've ever fucking seen. Just doesn't want to get off of anybody. Wasn't even getting blocked, to be honest with you. Just didn't want to fucking do anything. Second and 10, Wiggins looking to do something magical. It's going to go to Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup holds it. That's a first down. Let's go. We didn't drop it. That was kind of a dangerous pass. Not our best thrown ball. But Cooper Cup is just that guy. First and 10. Here's a little run. Can we get outside? We're going to try. Pop back in. Does not work. Kyron Gonna get hit. Zayvon Collins now has a boo-boo. We lose a yard on that play. Second and 11. Second and 11. Oh, chuck this. Th oh my God. Where the fuck is the football going? Was trying to hit Puka Nakua right at the peak of his route. Right at the, right at the break. 
did not work third and 11 wiggins come on buddy 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 it's cooper cup time baby Went in down, throw it to fucking Cooper Cup. That's a first down. Let's go. Derek Wiggins starting to get in a little bit of a, uh, of a, oh my God. I was going to say in a rhythm, but read option. I read the end. I didn't read the dude behind him though. Cremated second and 14. Here we go. We're dropping back. Going to hit our running back. There's nobody to give us blocks, to be honest. We get two yards. I, usually the linemen are with him. They're out there going and picking up blocks. Just not a fucking soul out there. Third and 12. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Can't get it to Chase Claypool. God, I'll tell you, I'm having the hardest of times getting him to throw the football to anybody that resembles uh, somebody on my team. I just, it just does not fucking work for us. We're going to try to punt, try to keep it out, try to keep it out. Got to try. The punt might have been a little too aggressive there. It goes out ah, at the nine. We'll take that. Unfortunately, we even have to punt here. I, I can't get the accuracy down, man. And I know somehow it's going to be my fault. The internet's going to yell at me and be like, well, Demo, you didn't know that this is... But whatever. I'm telling you, I'm doing my damn best. First and 10. It's a run to the outside. I ran too far. I ran too far. I ran too far. He's going to gain so many yards. Second and inches because I have a fucking moron to the 18. The two-minute warning. God, I cannot believe we're choking so badly against the Cardinals of all teams. Second and inches. He's going to the running back. I can't break his legs. I tried to get him in the backfield, sold my body out there, and I missed Gibson having a day. I just can't stop him. I don't want to stop Gibson, apparently. First and 10 for Kyler and the Cardinals, and they're looking to still butter my dick, and they're going to. Four-yard gain. Two dudes standing next to, I think, I want to say that was Zach Ertz. It was. Two dudes standing right next to him. We just let him catch the football. Then we go, okay, it's time for me to tackle you, daddy. Second and six. I'm watching the running back. I'm watching the running back. I'm oh my god! It's a pick. Rams ball, baby. We're taking it to the house. What a pick! Pick six, baby. Kobe Durant. What a play! Just fell right in his hands, and we're back in this game. Thank God. Holy shit! CPU kind of helping me out there. Kobe Durant. Thank God, brother. What a pick beautiful play i don't know how many picks he's had this year i think that's his second but gosh it came in at a perfect time we needed that there's gonna be a minute left on the clock now for these cardinals as it's a tie game so kyler's gonna be throwing that ball they have all their timeouts we got to be playing some aggressive pass defense here minute one can we stop them before the half first and ten we're coming out in i form we're looking to make a great play maybe we're not gonna make a great play and he's gonna run out of bounds after gaining nine yards. We just tackle so sloppy. I'm playing like a big bag of anus. Empty backfield again. Obviously, obviously. There's the throw. It's gonna be a first down. They're gonna go down just behind the first down marker. And this will be their first time out. I'm gonna send a little bit of heat here. We still know they're passing. I wanna be ready for the outside, the number stuff. And that one's gonna be dropped. Thrown behind the receiver. And that one's going to be dropped second and 10. Second and 10. I'm watching the running back all day, every day. It doesn't matter. He's going to check it right there to the tight end. I want to say that was Ertz. Third and two. And they're going to utilize their second timeout, 41 seconds. I want to press all up in that ass. Third and two, 41 seconds. Is he going to scramble? Is he going to chuck it? He's going to go down. I'm going to use a timeout. Fuck it. 37 seconds. It's now fourth and nine. Kyler started scrambling right away. Thought maybe he was going to check it to that running back running out there, but he didn't. Holds on to it, takes the sack. And we have a chance to use two timeouts, 37 seconds. Derek Wiggins could do a huge thing by getting us in a field goal position. The punt. I run this back, right? Right, right, right. I think. I think to almost the 30, 27. Okay, 28 seconds. Can't we do this? First and 10. I would love one of these corner routes to be open. Oh my god, that's a pick. It's just a bad throw by me. Just all around stupid as shit. All around stupid as shit. I looked at left, I looked at right, I committed to the right. It was bad. Threw it late too. Just a bad, just a fucking dog shit throw. It's kind of like I'm I'm worried I gotta force the throw. And it's like if I do throw it well, it's off, it's off accuracy. And then if I I'm just like I'm putting myself in a situation where I can fuck up too. Like there's been reads I make that I'm like, oh, that could be right there to the open guy. And it's inaccurate because we're dog shit and then when i do make a decent read it's right at somebody so it's not a decent read you get what i'm saying i don't fucking know i'm rambling i'm upset i'm upset and i won't take any further questions first and 10 my fucking harry cock he never crossed that fucking first down marker 
14 seconds, they're going to kick a field goal. I would have run the... Well, I guess you don't have any timeouts. That's true. What if we block it? Can they make it this far? I have no idea. Is their kicker good? Oh, he's good. 13 to 10 because we're a dumb piece of shit. God, what a rough first half of football. We're just not playing very well. I hate to say it. I missed the 85 accuracies and stuff like that of Tyler Huntley. I started to do okay. Still throw... I still make bad decisions, but like... I started to feel a little bit okay. And I miss him now. Six seconds... There's just no fucking chance, right? There's no there's no shot. What if? What if I could hit Chase Claypool deep? Wiggins, do something, buddy. Good luck, champ. Did I catch that? Oh my fuck, I did. I catch that, but I can't catch the other shit I throw. All right. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, shit. Not the best half of football, but it is only 13-10. We get ball. We're going to commit to running inside. Run the damn football and stop the fucking short pass. Here we go. We're just playing so sloppy, but it's a new half of football. We could do this. We're not going to run this one out. And we're going to start the drive to the 25. First and 10. Wiggins going to put Cooper Cup in motion. It's a little touch pass. Can we get outside? We do. Make a man miss. Oh, my God. Make another man miss. Oh, my God. Cooper Cup. First and 10. Don't let anybody eat my ass. Don't let anybody eat my ass. That's a duck, but it gets there. Puka Nakua. Spread the ball around. Didn't look like the greatest spiral, I ain't gonna lie, but it got to Puka Nakua. That, that's what works. That's what I like, daddy. First and 10, if we pick up our blocks, we're looking super good, super good. We didn't really pick up anything. We got two yards there, 55 yards now for Kyron Williams on nine carries. He does also have some receiving yards though, so don't get mad at me too quickly, internet. Oh, right there, right there. A quick read to Puka Nakua, who's running a streak and we're gonna get the first down. That was a beautiful throw. Accurate ball for once in our fucking life, by the way. I can't believe it. First and 10. We need a good drive. Let's go. Get some blocks. Get some blocks, baby. We fight. Seven-yard gain for Kyron Williams. Second and three. We're going to get some blocks, and we're going to get the first down right there as we're tackled over the first down marker to the seven. First and goal. We need a touchdown in the worst way. In the worst way. Kyron Let's go, baby. He's going to bob and weave, and he'll pick up the seven yards. Touchdown for Kyron Williams. Have a day. I want to say he only needed a touchdown or the yards. I'm going to still try to do the yards just in case, but everybody's doing a little synchronized dance. We're looking hot. We're feeling crispy. That might have been the upgrade for Kyron right there. And this kick right here is going to make it a 17-13 to game. We do have a lead. Praise the gods. Honestly, a really good drive from us. We had some good footballs thrown, had some good running, had a lot of stuff happen that we needed. And we spread it around a little bit. I think Cooper Cup got involved. Puka Nakua got some. Kylan, or Kyron got some. Kylan Granson, I haven't really thrown it to because, I mean, he's fucking Kyron. Kylan Granson. I'm bad at this right now. I'm having a brain fart. It's 5 a.m. when I'm recording this, and I can't remember Kylan or Kyron for saving my ass right now. First and 10 here. We need to stop the Cardinals. We've done it before. Momentum has shifted as well. So play action, and it was so absolutely we bit a million and 10%. A floater, first down. Kyler Murray is uh, beautiful. There's Kyler, Kyron, and Kylan. Too many fucking Kai names, like Kyron, Kylan. It's too many. Is this a run? It is. We're going to stuff it out, though. Let's go, baby. Loss of a yard for Antonio Gibson. Second and 11 now. I want to say this is a pass. Second and 11. It feels like a pass. It smells like a pass. It's not a pass. It's actually going to be a run, and he's going to get so many goddamn yards because I'm stupid. I didn't pass commit there before everybody yells at me. First and 10 for Gibson. He's flexing on me. I hate it here. First and 10. I'm covering the running back. I'm covering the running back. Covering the running back. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Big tackle. Let's go. Five yard loss on that one. Huge. Bid Orchard. That's another tackle for loss. Second and 15. Everybody in the building knows you're passing the football. Oh my sweet God. You were on the inside. Look at the fucking back up and look at the play. Caillou Blue Kelly with a pass deflection. But God, I feel like I should have walked away with a pick there. Third and 15. It looks like a screenplay. It is. We're going to get picked up. We're going to get picked up. Tackle fourth and two. That was a big gain for them. 13 yards on that to Antonio Gibson. Do you kick the field goal? You do. They're going to try to make it a one point game. Hodges Thomas. We've not really. Last year we had a couple block field goals, like two or three. Haven't had that this year, and we're not going to continue. We're going to continue not have it as it's now a one point game. 17 to 16 here. Rams football, though. If we can do what we did last drive, just be smart. That's all we need to do. Just be smart and don't be stupid, which is very hard for me. We're going to start our drive at the 24 after uh, Cavante Turpin 
gets us almost to 25 fuck it almost 75 yards on the ground for kyron i want to say he's already gotten his stuff passing and rushing yard has to be over 100 he's gotten the touchdown everything got it and he's gonna gain more right here that's gonna be an eight yard gain off of the first carry of the drive is he hurt please don't be hurt what what the fuck was that action i didn't like that i didn't like that second and two can we get a runoff we do can't get the first down though third and one as we only gain one on that play third and one coming out and gun wiggins the snap hands it off to kylan and it's gonna be kyron's gonna get a nice little gain first and 10 90 yards on the ground for kyron williams can you tell this video was about kyron williams can you tell is it obvious chat is it obvious youtube first and 10 i'm gonna make wiggins throw the fucking football we gotta learn gotta learn quick throw cooper cup jesus christ i'm not gonna lie somebody needs to go report to cooper cup's family i think we just killed that son of a bitch second and ten play action where in the fuck is he throwing ah! what am i doing wrong there i'm so fucking confused i could not be more confused i'm so confused such a bad throw come on we gotta do something gotta do something oh jesus we're getting popped in the mouth and we're gonna do nothing fourth and 20 bj ojalari with that one right there he's asking hey i can't hear you and wiggins is going hey you really fucked my uh my bottom there's growing pains with new quarterbacks he is a 70 something 72 overall am i making mistakes absolutely freaking lootly does that shock you it really shouldn't we're trying our best big hit right there and the cardinals on the 37 first and 10 it's gonna be a handoff and we're gonna get that tackle quick honestly they get back to the line of scrimmage i thought we hit him in the backfield by a yard but that's gonna be aaron donald with the big tackle into the third quarter we still have a lead we're winning 17 16 please god somebody bury me because i'm embarrassed at how bad we're playing second and 10. oh there's a scramble for sure oh you know what though oh my god i thought we were gonna be able to get a pick there i didn't even see the dude coming across the field i thought he was hitting the streak what a throw what a catch shit shit oh, i just got tipped bad there the 35 yard line is where the cardinals are at now here in this fourth quarter they're starting to cook a little bit first and 10 it's gonna be a run and oh my god gibson's making moves out here making moves finally he's brought down after a seven yard gain the rushing offense has been 25th in the league it's been dog shit they've run 144 yards on me he's gonna oh my god he's so fucking open there's a touchdown for the cardinals I mean, we just aren't even, I mean, we're making DJ Shark Jr. look actually good. Two point conversion here for the Cardinals. Trying to make this a seven point game. Hopefully they can't. And it's batted down. So it is a 22-17 game. We need a touchdown. Five point game. If we get a touchdown here, I'm gonna have a hard cock. Let's do this. I just need to trust the run. I, as much as I'd like to try to get this quarterback to throw a little bit and try to get comfortable with him and all that. I just gotta, we gotta throw the, or we gotta run the damn ball. 28 yard lines where we're gonna start first and 10 can we hold our blocks it looks like we can and that's gonna be a good gain first down and more let's go baby big gain 102 on the ground for kyron williams first and 10 we're gonna hand it off oh boy we ran right into the arms of everybody holy shit not our best play second and 11 i'm gonna throw the ball here i know i said run it but a second 11 i think the play here is to run a screen a screen that we just we just i mean we're getting fucking absolutely titty dicked by this damn defensive lineman and we just he's not even touching us really we're just letting him touch us we need a miracle cooper cup we overthrow him god damn i hate this quarterback holy shit we're gonna have to punt the football because we just i mean i simply can't throw it more than six yards that is not a good punt by the way i don't know i don't really know what the fuck i did i have no idea what i did but they're gonna have the drive start at the 35 I mean, I can't hit a fucking pass, man. And there's going to be so many. Well, damn it. You're the meter. You, listen, brother. Every fucking time I throw it, it's just inaccurate being pressured. First and 10. We need a miracle. Big tackle. Let's go. Second and eight. Thank God. Antonio Gibson has 120 yards on 10 carries. Uh. Second and eight. Five minutes left in the quarter. There's. Oh, my God. How did. How did. How does this happen? We got a guy standing there flat footed make a play on the ball i'll suck your fucking titties oh my god that's gonna be a first down i got a bad feeling oh my god we stopped in fourth and inches oh my god dj shark jr apparently is the greatest fucking receiver i've ever seen 
I feel like every time that Kyler throws it, it's to him. It's so crazy. I haven't even really seen Marquise Brown at all. I'm not going to catch that. We're going to let that bounce, and we're going to start the drive on the 20. Let's go. First and 10. We need some blocks. Need blocks. Need blocks. Need blocks. Cut back in. Damn it. I only gained three yards there. We still have a lot of time in the quarter. Four minutes left here. No need to panic yet. Honestly, I feel like if I throw it, it's got to be gun mesh, even though it's Hunter Long and fucking Kylan Granson. We just need somebody. Somebody. Oh my Christ. I can't believe we caught that. Kylan Granson. I'll be honest. I thought we were screwed, but it looked nice. It looked cute. First and 10. Handoff. We're going to the outside. We're going to get it. Pop back in and we get the first down. Yes. Big carry. 19 carries for Kyron. Wiggins. Chuck it to the running back. I thought he was going to be on the inside when he caught that, and then he'd have a lane to run. Didn't really work out that way, but it is a five-yard gain. Fuck it, we take it. We're getting close to the two-minute warning here. I need to kill as much clock as I can, to be honest with you. I'm going to run this. No, I'm not. I'm going to chuck it. He went out of bounds. I should have run it. I should have stayed with the gut. I thought if I threw it to him, he'd be able to turn up and get more yards. I got greedy. Third and five. Third and five. The running back. He's open, but the, the ball was thrown poorly. Oh my God, he got the first down. This will take it to the two minute warning. Holy shit. I'm gonna tell you what, boy, has our man earned star dev. God dang, he's earned star dev. The ball was thrown so cattywampus to the running back and we're still able to fall for the first down. First and 10, the handoff. Looks like I'm gonna get a little block and we're gonna make a man miss. Can we do another? Oh, I tried to stop and then spin around. Didn't really work though. First down to the 28. Minute 38. I don't know why the CPU thinks I can't run the football yet. There's still plenty of time on the clock. That's going to be a good run. That's going to be a good run. We're going to go out of bounds there. A minute 29 on the clock. We're at the 15-yard line. First and 10. Handoff. Ladarius Woody is now in there to get some reps. And he's going to fight. And he'll go down after an 8-yard gain to the 7. I'm going to let this clock burn. I would rather lose so close to the fucking end zone then let them get the football back and fuck my butt 50 seconds left here we go baby it's crunch time we're getting close to got all of our timeouts for some reason they're not using theirs snap the ball it's gonna be a first down i could have probably gotten in there i'm gonna call a timeout at 30 seconds i think no i'm gonna actually call <laughs> oh man this is where the clock management of me gets real real crazy because i am fucking stupid 25 seconds i want to run the ball Snap it at 19. There we go. Get in. We're diving. He's in like a parakeet. 17 seconds on the clock. And we have the lead. Here's what we got to do. We got to go for two. And this makes me sick to my stomach because I don't believe in my quarterback for literally a second. I could not believe in him less. Two-point conversion. Here we go. Chase Claypool. He dropped it. I threw it to him because he had the hands. He's got a 95 hands rating and he fucking dropped it. 17 seconds. <sighs> Here we go. Arizona has all three timeouts. This one, they're gonna, they're gonna run that out. They're gonna kill some clock here. That's a silly decision. 14 seconds and they're gonna start at the 17. I don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna be honest with you. First and 10. Is that a run? No, it's play action. I, I fell for the dumbest shit. We just picked him up, though, and we fucked him in his tight throat. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What a play. Aaron Donald. Two timeouts left for Arizona. I can't believe we just popped him in the, in the fucking face like that. They're going to check it down. Good job, dipshit. There's a timeout. Third and 16. Kyler was like, gosh, what do I do? I don't. That was so. That was a fucking me play. All right, they need 90 yards, and here's Kyler. He's going to uh, check it down for three. Come on, baby. Get off the damn defensive line. Pick it. Let's go. Ball game, bitch. There's a second left. That pick made me sweaty. Benjamin St. Juiced calls the game. And you know what's crazy? Because I am such a dirty, dirty, weak little bitch. I'm going to kick a fucking field goal. <laughs> Here we go. Nail it believe believe thank you thank you put a little sugar on that cake that referee by the way just got thanos snapped into damn oblivion cardinals head coach is like well butter my backside kyler why'd you throw it for two yards i don't know champ i don't know what a win we get the first win of our young quarterback's career i'm gonna be honest with you in spite of him 
I am struggling. Now, I know he's a young quarterback. I know his ratings are absolutely shit. But, god damn, does he suck. Wiggins goes 13 for 27. I only threw one pick. Honestly, that's improvement for me, all right? You know it. You've been watching. You already know. You leave a like on the video and you subscribe. If you haven't, you should do it right now. Click that thumbs up. Help me. 207 yards uh, for him. Whatever. We'll take it. 152 yards for Kyron Williams, two touchdowns, 23 carries. He did really good. Remember, we were talking about maybe even signing another running back just because we couldn't run the ball. I guess the 49ers will be the real test. Ladarius Woody had 10 yards on two carries, and then Wiggins got popped on a option that he kept and lost four. Receiving yards, Kyron Williams, five receptions, 59 yards. Very, very nice. Cooper Cup, 60 yards on four receptions. Puka Nakua, two for 38. He did have a drop, that shameful little bitch. Kylan Granson, one for 10. And Chase Claypool, one for 40. Also, uh, yeah, no, that was nice. We like that. Run after catch, he had one. There you go. Look at him go. Hunter Long, we tried to throw it to him once and he dropped it because I fucking hate him. I will sign another tight end. I will do it just to put him down the depth chart. Let Pope be number one. Whoever I sign be number two. Number three, Kylan Granson. Number four, Hunter Long. I'll cut Hunter Long. I'll cut a bitch. On defense, Nick Hampton got a sack, and so did Aaron Donald. Love to see a tackle for losses. Three of them went to Aaron Donald. Two to Ben Orchard, the rookie. And then Nick Hampton had two as well. Uh, Byron Young and Caillou Blue Kelly all had one. Caillou Blue Kelly also had a pass deflection. Doesn't say he... No, it does say he did. Uh, he had one of those. And then interceptions. One went to Benjamin St. Juice, which allowed us to kick that last-minute field goal. And Kobe Durant had one that he took to the house for 38 yards had a little touchdown for that good for him overall yes we won the other thing we need to really consider here is uh, i i need to do better but so does Derek wiggins we need to step up and figure it out whether that means we change a playbook and we start giving him more passes that are not I, I i don't feel comfortable throwing the ball more than eight yards with him he has the power just the accuracy i don't know where the fucking thing's going half the time and he's just I, he's just young we gotta develop him it's gonna be a long process but that's what this season's for, the development of Derek Wiggins, and then go into next year, give him more weapons, get a better team, a little bit more rounded, a little more experience for the whole thing, and go from there. But overall, we do get the dub, and we should have a dev trade upgrade for our boy. All right, breakout player, let's see what they say. I want to say, yeah, how about that game from Kyron Williams? His dick is absolutely huge. Love to see it. Star Dev has been acquired for our running back, Kyron Williams. That's big. 20K XP. Let's go. Well, you guys wanted Kyron, you know, who's looked good in real life to be more of a part of this. And now he is. So that's very exciting. And with that W, we're now three and five. We're going to sim to the next week just to see where we are at in the standings. Week eight, which means we need to make a trade if we're going to do it. We're playing the 49ers and we're three and five. We're in second place. Oh my God, does that say breakout running back again? Hold on a minute. Are you trying to tell me that we could potentially make Kyron Williams a superstar? I'm not going to click it yet. Holy shit. Weekly awards though. They're going to go to Kyron Williams. 23 carries, 152 yards. Absolutely beautiful. Mac Jones and Von Miller are your AFC guys. And on defense, uh, the Seahawks. 14 tackles, one force fumble for Mr. Brooks on the Seahawks. I don't know. Next week is going to be very interesting. Should we? Oh, it's week nine now, so I can't trade anybody. We're stuck with what we have. Smile. We weren't really planning on getting rid of anybody. Maybe Chase Claypool. But fuck it. If we're going to keep playing, it is what it is. I mean, to be honest, there was just nothing we were going to trade to get draft picks. I mean, Chase Claypool, we might have been able to find a fourth. Does it really matter at this point? Look at these upgrades, though, for Kyron. Holy shit um nothing insane there to be honest and so that's okay i'm okay with the way this this played out i'm fine not trading anybody i plan on bringing aaron donald back 100 percent. yeah i'm fine with this i think i don't really think there was much to trade we're just working on development so if you enjoyed this video do me the biggest favors leave a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will see you all in the next one peace